younger than me, she was far, far more composed and serene. I was eager, yet awkwardly backward, quite uncertain of how to proceed. But she seemed not to notice the hesitancy with which I prepared for the deed. It was out in the barn, I remember, at the close of a lush summer day, and the evening was scented with clover and bloom and the fragments of Nui Mone. I remember she made no objection, showed no evidence of alarm, for I loved her, and she, I'm sure, loved me, since she first came to live on the farm. I remember I spoke to her softly as I cuddled her face in my hand, and I saw in the depths of her wide eyes the look of a loved one who understands. I remember she moved a bit closer, and the touch of her body was so warm as my fingers moved awkwardly over her throat while she nestled her head on my arm. Looking back on it now, I remember how I stood while my head seemed to spin with the thought of the thing I was going to do Yet reluctant, reluctant it somehow began. And her eyes seemed, I thought, to rebuke me for waiting for being afraid. And then Nellie, Nellie, our ancient flowers, looked over her manger and neighed. Long after I stood up, uncertain of whether to stay or to run, a tingle with pride and shaken and scared, as I knew that at last it was done. I remember, it seemed hours later, how my heart hammered under my blouse of the joy of a boy that's turned into a man as I made my way back to the house. Twenty years have gone by since that meeting, and I've never forgotten the thou. The thrill and the joy I felt as a boy on the day when I first milked a cow.